What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you an ever requested car update video and today we're going to go through what's been changed since the last video, what's been added and the destination I want to end up with, with my baby. Now if you guys do enjoy the video, it really helps out if you do go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, so for those of you who haven't seen my car before, it's a 2009 Ford Focus RS Mark Two. It was originally a frozen white colour and there is a standard push just over 300 brake horsepower through those front wheels. Powered by a 2.5 litre turbocharged Volvo 5 cylinder petrol engine which sounds absolutely amazing which we will come to and hear later. Now these cars are heavily tunable and some of the figures out there pushed by these cars are truly incredible. Thanks to the Revo knuckle system this car has, massive numbers pushed through those front wheels paired with a smart ECU upgrade such as a Zyvex makes it all possible. My car is heavily tuned for sure, but I haven't gone down that Cyrex route just quite yet. But she still performs amazingly. The car as I got it or thereabouts can be seen on screen now. White in my opinion is the best colour these come in. There are only four possible colours as standard. White, blue, green and black. Black being the RS500 version. I did make a video not long after this was wrapped, it's on my channel somewhere, but much has changed from then to now, so let's go. Firstly, people may be wondering the colour she is now. She is a satin matte dark grey, and in the sun, she has like a sleek layer of sparkle, which you will pick up on. I changed the colour as I was washing it about 5 times a week when it was white, as it just got dirty so quick. Being a grey meant obviously dirt doesn't show as much. Now the wrap was supplied by Wrap Art. if you live anywhere near the Midlands UK, these are the guys you want to take your car to if you're thinking about getting it wrapped. Had mine wrapped 2 years ago almost and it still sparkles like the day I got it done. Their website and info can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check them out. So after I changed the colour of the car, I wanted it to be a one-off, but I did notice a few others online via owners clubs which had similar grey RSs, so I decided to introduce another minor touch in terms of a separate colour to match the grey it was. So I decided to go with a Ford Performance Blue, which just looked kind of purple but it is a blue. With the blue, I didn't want to overdo it, I didn't want to overpower the car, so I only added slight touches. Things like the RS badges, the wing mirrors, the splitter trim, the wheel air caps, as well as a few certain interior and exterior lights. I've also added, along with the Maxton design splitters all around the car, I added a rear diffuser extension. This I did order in a blue, but the blue wasn't the right colour, so I had to have it painted. But now it looks absolutely great, as I'm sure you will agree. Also the spoiler lip extension, this came in black which also had to be painted. Again Maxton Designs for the win. Now the license plates people, although they look pretty standard right here, these are incredible and these are my party trick. So these plates were made by a company called LED Lights and via a switch installed within the car, these babies light up and I mean they light the heck up as you will see on screen now. The front plate lights up white and the rear light lights up red. These are show lights only obviously and it's not recommended you use them while driving, especially on the streets. Now these license plates if you are interested in learning more are available via the LED plates website. You can have them custom made in a variety of different styles. As you can see on the screen now, you can apply them to a car, a motorcycle, literally anything with a license plate. If you want flat text, 3D text, 3D carbon text, they offer them all. If these are something you might be interested in, check out their website linked within the video description. If you plan on making a purchase, use my discount code of DPJ10 for an epic discount people. If you want to follow more of their work and check out what they do, visit them on Instagram and Facebook. Both are linked within the video description. Go show them some love and a massive thanks for them in supplying me these amazing one-off plates. Okay, so while it's dark, we may as well take a look at my custom door sills. And these again people light up like a Christmas tree. Obviously I had to have that blue to match. So back to daylight we go. So I've also added cold air intakes into the front bottom grill. These cold air intakes feed directly into the engine bay and keep your bay as cool as possible. As it's always a good thing as it does get pretty hot under there. 
Also the WRC vents on the bonnet, these again were added with the intent of not only looking good and making the car look meaner, but for them to suck in that cold air while driving, and to release a lot of heat when in traffic and so forth. Ok so the exhaust system, now I've had quite a few on this car, I've had a Mongoose section 19, I've had a standard one, I've had a KMS Thunderstorm and I've now recently installed the KMS Section 18 exhaust system which is the best available for the car in my opinion if you like them nasty sounds and loud bangs. Listen to it at a cold start, obviously my camera mic doesn't do it the justice it deserves. <laughs> beast warmed up spitting those flames. a pop and bang map on the car nor do I have any kind of flame kit, it's not needed in my opinion, it pops and bangs enough and spits the odd bit of fire which is enough for me. This new exhaust also gives off some amazing tones, the best of them all coming from let's say I'm cruising along at about 40 miles an hour in say 4th gear and I'll just give it a little throttle then release, the tone is amazing, take a listen. My car people, my next project is probably going to be my engine bay, at the moment I ain't very happy with what I've personally done myself, I mean there are a few bits and bobs which I think are fine, but the plastics and covers I'm going to get hydro dipped. Theme wise I don't know what I'm going to go for, I've always fancied a blue carbon look, but we will see people, but literally the possibilities are endless when it comes to hydro dipping. So people this is my Ford Focus Mark II RS, before we end big shout outs to RPM Garage in Birmingham UK, if you are around the Midlands area I can't recommend a better garage for you to take your car to, to be looked after if you have any issues whatsoever. From engine to entire electronics for the car, there's a guy there called Rich who absolutely loves his wires. Also shout out to a few groups and owners clubs I am in, rolling over on Facebook, home to everyone who owns any kind of Ford, bunch of amazing people always at hand to help you through any issues you might have with your car. Same goes for UK FOC, UK Ford Focus Owners Club. But on that note guys, I am out, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like it really does help out, and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.